Glenn Beck is going to go on an incoherent rant here where he links 13 different issues into his main thesis, which is that we're all doomed. Let's watch. We're done. I want you to understand. We're done as a nation. When Mitch McConnell says, now is not the time to end abortion, we're done as a nation. We're not going to get any more warnings on this. Evil is rampaging right now. It is beyond anything that I have ever seen anywhere in my life. And if you think it's going to stay put, if you think it's not going to grow, if you think this is as bad as it could get, you are sadly mistaken. And when our government says, you know what, next week we're going to go with Iran. We're not going to go with Israel. We're not going to go with common sense. We're going to allow Iran to have a nuclear weapon when their mullahs and their clerics and the Ayatollah has said it is time to stop just speaking words. It is time to put our words into action with the great Satan and the little Satan. If you think that this is going to stay the way it is, you're sadly mistaken. If you think that all of our streets and all of our policemen, all of our towns aren't going to see protesters and more killings, if you think this is just going to be relegated to the Baltimores and the Fergusons of the world, you're sadly mistaken. If you think that this is as hard as it gets with the attacks on Christianity, and this is as hard as I'm, I've ever seen it in standing up and saying that you're a Christian, if you think this is it, you're sadly mistaken. If you think our kids are in school right now, and this is as bad as it's going to get, this is as crazy as it's going to get, where boys who identify themselves as girls, no sex change, no nothing, they just identify themselves as girls, can now go into a girl's bathroom and turn a school completely upside down, and they have the right to do it, and all of the experts come out and say, how dare you even question his feelings? If you think this is as bad as it's going to get, you're sadly mistaken. We are a nation hell-bent on our own destruction. God's not going to punish us. I saw in the New York Post, Glenn Beck is again with his apocalyptic preaching. I'm not preaching to you, and I'm not apocalyptic. We are suicidal. <laughs> I'm not preaching, and I'm not apocalyptic. But we're suicidal, and we're all going to die. Okay, you were preaching, and this is apocalyptic. It's amazing that he can contradict himself in the same sentence in a 10-second time frame. And then if you call him out on it, he'll be like, Oh, how dare you! He lives in a fact-free world. I think he might be losing it. There's two options. Either Glenn Beck is just completely, utterly acting like Sean Hannity, where it's all fake and he's playing a role, or... The guy is a legitimate crazy person. That rant didn't even make sense. He went from evil is rampaging, evil is going to grow, to Iran, we're allowing Iran to have a nuclear weapon, even though the deal says the exact opposite. Don't take my word for it. Read the deal yourself. He, then he went to, there's going to be Christian persecution. Again, totally made up. Complete horseshit. Then he goes to fuck trans people, because they want to use the bathroom of what they feel like their gender is. He, he links this in with the downfall of America. What the fuck is wrong with you? And then uh, he manages to go all the way back to uh, we're hell-bent on our own destruction and I'm not apocalyptic, but the apocalypse is coming. For a guy to be that disheveled and that out of whack and for a guy to contradict himself that quickly, uh, again, I'm serious when I say he's either an actor and he's playing a role and... You know, he's just getting his paycheck and uh, going home, and it is what it is. Or, he really is off of his rocker, and he really sees the world this way, and he needs some sort of psychiatric help. But either way, he doesn't look good, and it scares me that anybody in America could listen to this guy and go, that guy's 100% right, I'm going to follow him.